Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is L, and I'm going to be bringing a domination match on the outpost. I'm going to be using the FAD with quick draw, sleight of hand, and stalker. I'm actually going to be talking about a little bit about ghosts, and I'm probably going to be talking a lot more about the gameplay because I actually get like three or four triples in this game. Um, pretty luckily, but like, you know, it's it's still nice and good to talk about the gameplay and how I got the triples. Anyway, um. Yeah, so let's jump into gameplay. So as you can see, right, for, to, to like, for, first off, I'm going to capture C because it does give you points towards your uh, to strike package, I think it's called in Modern Warfare 3. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to scrape around this corner with my setup. I'm going to throw this, I'm going to throw a uh, flashbang into that door, into this room, and I actually pick up a triple because I blow up a single, like, explosive barrel, and apparently there were, like, three people in that building. And that was a nice pickup, and right here I'm using this hill to my advantage, trying to, you know, I'm using that hill to my advantage to give me cover, strafing around corners so I can make sure that I don't go into a gunfight un, like, uh, what do you call it, unprepared, and I actually, like, I'm sitting in the back of their spawn right now, and uh, they're, like, I haven't died yet, and right, um, there's a second guy right here, and I thought I could actually kill him through the floorboards if I just shot through there, but I didn't end up being able to kill him, so I actually decided to disengage and, you know, go into a spot where I could call in this Predator missile, and I think I'm gonna get another triple here, I, or no, oh yeah, I do, I get another triple, so there is the second triple, uh, I'll probably keep counting and tell you later on how many triples it got, but anyway, uh, that was another triple, and right, right now the suppressor is really helping me out right now, because MP9 is actually is suppressed. And what I've found is suppressor in general is very useful in uh, its abilities because you know it allows you to get behind enemy cover and be able to pick up kills without being seen. Right there, that was really unfortunate. I thought I got behind that wall before he shot, but um, and that was also that was um, a good attempted play, but because like I was so low health, I tried to find cover, and unfortunately that guy was actually right there. And uh, the problem with actually that that I had right there was I was in an area where there was so much traffic that if I ended up getting hurt or something like that, uh, it would end up in um, it would end up very poorly for me because I would be unable to uh, to escape or find cover where there wasn't going to be any traffic. So that's kind of that's also a problem is to know the traffic patterns of the um, you just in general to know the traffic patterns. Of the maps because if you can know where the safe areas are to get away when you're hurt and to be able to find cover when where where it's safe. I apologize, I'm kind of stumbling around. But if you find if you know the the traffic patterns of the of the map, it will really help you in gameplay wise and especially in Ghost where it's probably going to be the same style of maps and it's probably going to you know it's going to play relatively close to. Um, Modern Warfare 3, as what I can tell, even though it's a new engine, the interface seems about the same, and I'm pretty sure overall it's going to be re uh, really close to Ghost or really close to Modern Warfare 3 um, in comparison to like the Black Ops games. So the tips I'm giving you in for this game could be transferable over to Modern War or to Ghost. I don't exactly know. I'll probably be able to tell you guys, hopefully I'll be able to make a game, or make a video commentary sometimes this week uh, after Ghost comes out, uh, Tuesday if not Wednesday, and at the latest probably uh, Saturday of next week. But anyway, that's uh, that's my agenda right now in uh, preparation for Ghost. But yeah, that's why I have a whole bunch of these uh, Modern Warfare 3 gameplays up. And right here, I think, I'm hoping C4 gets nerfed in the next game because... Actually, I'm hoping the lethals aren't as good in the next game because I feel like... Lethals was a really easy out and the range of, uh, the, range of the, you know, of the, of the lethals was kind of... I think I think it was too large in my perspective in car or in Black Ops <laughs> right here. Uh, that was unfortunate. I thought my uh, I just ch I felt like I just checked over there. I think I I did check the general area and I didn't see that guy. So unfortunately, I like 
Like, I, I'm in my spawn and I feel safe enough to, to run without my side up, but uh, unfortunately I'm actually running into people and, and sadly I'm actually getting into just gunfights where I'm not even prepared and I think the last two deaths I haven't even like put up a, a fight for the gun in, in the gunfight, I've just gotten killed. I haven't. I don't think I shot a, even one bullet. So that's that's a relatively or that that you know that that just shows that what I'm telling you about you know going around corners with your side up and stuff like that is very you know it's it actually works. Um, yeah. So that's I'm gonna jump back into the gameplay and again getting killed uh, out of my spawn because I'm not you know strafing those corners with my side up. And it's mostly just because. You know, I think I'm safe where I am in my spawn, and I'm not right here. I I completely fail. I was checking my the score without paying attention to what was happening around me, and <laughs> that's what happens. Ugh, and that right there is why you check your corners when you go into um, just in general. That's why you strafe around corners, uh, especially in like going through buildings. You always want to try to strafe around corners. Check the corners before you go into the room, because you could always get caught in, in gunfights where you know you get you're at the disadvantage because that guy's in a corner and you completely pass him and you don't know where he is. So that's why uh, what I'm saying about you know going around the corner with your setup and stuff like that it really does help. Um, and yeah, that's just that's my two cents on that. Anyway, I'm gonna jump back into the gameplay. So actually, we are actually doing relatively well for like for what it seems to be and what I feel like Ghost is going to be really good for is team team gameplay so like uh, especially since like you know the support strike the support streaks are coming or s the support strike package is coming back and the uh, the soul the, the different strike packages are coming back I feel like if you're playing with a team you're going to be more rewarded for playing with a team than if you're playing, you know, solo. So I think, and uh, th this is just my um, experience, especially from this game where, like, or from Modern Warfare 3, where the support strike package is actually really, really good because it does have lethal, um, what do you call it, kill streaks in it. And hopefully, I'm what I'm hoping is this is like my my hopes for the strike package in the next game is that they ner or they don't put anything that could get kills in the support strike package and mostly because I felt like that was the most overpowered part of the strike package is that you could die and you could still get you know score streaks that are not score streaks kill streaks that actually got you kills and the, I feel like the whole point of this uh, support streak or support strike package is to support not to you know is not and, and not to like get kills for your team granted that is like you know that does kind of give you support but I feel like the you know UAVs, counter UAVs, SAM turrets, and stuff like that should be in the support streak, and stealth bombers really shouldn't be, and stuff like that. Um, just because the support streak is meant for support, and it shouldn't be meant for you know playing offensive and stuff like that. Also, um, what they're doing with the new you know the the new perk setup, I like it because you know it is it's like the Modern Warfare or the Black Ops. Where you know you got to pick over many points and stuff like that, and that's cool. I like I like the fact that they did that, but they didn't. I don't feel like they adapted enough. Like especially like the scoreboard. The scoreboard is Modern Warfare 3. Is the Modern Warfare 3 scoreboard? I mean, I like the Black Ops 2 scoreboard because it gave you a lot more information. And right now, I feel like the Ghost. You know the ghost uh, scoreboard isn't going to be as useful as the Black Ops 2 score, which, you know, I feel like that is something they probably could have done with Road to Bees because I don't think it would be too much to work for. But I just feel like if they didn't change the scoreboard, you know, they wouldn't. I felt like that would have been a, you know, a good decision. Anyway, um. I'm gonna jump back into the gameplay and stop ranting about uh, HUD Ghost. So anyway, this I think. So as you can tell, I'm really trying to strafe around corners and with my side up and use cover to my advantage. Um, 
unfortunately though, like Modern Warfare 3 maps especially, there's no like three set routes like in Black Ops or Black Ops 2. It's kind of just really sporadic, which is like a real battlefield, you know, like I understand it replicates real battlefield, but it does it, what it doesn't do is it doesn't provide, you know, it doesn't provide a lot of like valid cover. You don't get <clears throat> you know, like lines of sight where uh, you have cover on both sides and it's kind of equal. So I feel like some maps are kind of unequal and that the lines of sights you get on some sides of the map are like, it, it's not uh, a balanced map. And I feel like that was um, something that would that I feel is really important because, you know, when, when a map gives you an advantage, that's kind of unfair. Like, it wasn't you. You didn't spawn there by choice. You were kind of just spawned there by the game. So I feel like that was that's something that should really be considered is like uh, map design because I did really like the Black Ops 2 maps, uh, the, especially like the the size of the Black Ops 2 maps were really helpful because they were um, small and concise and there was always you know action going on instead of like these maps where you have to do hikes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's just my two cents on the map size. I do hope that they. You know, take into consideration and learn a little bit from um, Black Ops 2. Uh, this game plus action wrapping. Final score was 32 and 15. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. It was, um, you know, it was a relatively good gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I hope you guys are getting pumped for COD Ghost three more days, or two more days actually. Anyway, I hope you guys have a nice day, and God bless.